So hopefully you guys will tell your friends that we are having a party tonight and we're going to talk about PPP loans and credit repair. So if you are one of these people, PPP or credit repair, you need to be on, on, on right now and you need to be sharing this with all your friends and family and saying, listen, Mindy Renee from Rat to Tea is on, honey. She's wonderful. She's educational and she's funny. Okay, she's a little funny. So, you know, I need you to share, 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 friends and family. You know you got a lot of people that need some credit repair job, okay? You better sit in this little, listen, you better say, hey, she's on, honey. She's going to be on for an hour. You better get it while you can. Or you can always go back and watch the video. I'm not mad at that either. So, you know what time it is? It is tea time, of course. So, I want to know what you're drinking. Get your favorite drink, your coffee or your tea. And sip, 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 child, till you feel nice and fuzzy on the inside or a little tipsy. And then jump into my comments, okay? You got any questions, jump in there. I'm going to ho hopefully answer them for you, okay? You know, I, ha I have a lot going on tonight. I don't know if I'm going to get through everything because it's a lot. It's a lot, okay? I have a nice little concoction here. I thought I'd step it up for you guys so I wouldn't look so hood. Step it up in a little glass, Okay. It's a little uh, margar it's a little mango something delicious, okay? It was a long day today, okay? I had a long day, okay? I deserve this, okay? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, okay, for making water in the wine, okay? That's all I got to say. Thank you, Lord, for making water in the wine. If you ain't got none, you better get some, okay? Mm-hmm. So I'm going to sip, and I'm going to wait for a couple more people to come into the, to the room, child. I'm home. Okay, I'm doing something different. I left the door open in the front and the back. So I want to see who's going to come in and do a tag team. You know what I'm saying? Like tag team up in the house. You know what I'm saying? Because she, her, us, me, us, we are here. We are here. We don't have no barking dog tonight. Oh, the producer's not here. Okay, I might not need the sheet. Okay, but if he walks in, I'm going to grab the sheet, honey. I got the sheet closed. I will throw it up over myself, okay? So while I'm waiting for a couple of people to come on into the room, or come into the, his house, of course, how was y'all day? How was y'all day? How was y'all day? If no one's going to ask you how your day was, I'm going to ask you how your day was. My day was, whew, child. It was long, honey. It was long. It was, it was long, 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 okay? I went into work from being off yesterday and I was super excited, not that I had off yesterday, but I went into work like, ugh, y'all know how it is when you have a day off and then you gotta go back to work and you're like, ugh. So, child was there, I was there today, you know, just trying to figure out my life. Like, what's the, when, when is the Powerball coming? When am I gonna hit the Powerball? When is the lottery coming? I gotta hit something, okay? So, you know what I'm saying? I seen a woman on a, on uh, my, my 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 lottery dream house, talk about some. Oh, she she dreamt these numbers. So I'm like, Lord, send me some numbers, Lord. Let maybe I'll get me some winning numbers, okay? And then I won't have to work. But I can't complain. I'm, I'm I praise God that I do have a job. You know, and those that do have a job right now, y'all should be thanking God, whether you like it or not. At least you have a job. So that's always a plus, of course. All right. So we're going to jump right into it. Let's go, let's talk about these PPP because a lot of people asking me, Mindy Renee, you're an accountant. 
you do these type of things, don't you? Can you get me a PPP? But I want a PPP with $20,000. So I have to stop for a moment and I have to say, um, sir, ma'am, she, him, they, um, do you currently own a business? No, I don't have a business. I want you to create a business and you know, give me this PPP because I need 20 stacks. Well, um, listen, I, I don't know about y'all, but I ain't doing that. Okay. First of all, if you ain't got no business, you ain't got no business applying for the PPP loan. Okay. Let's just be first and foremost. Okay. So don't get greedy. All right. And I, this ain't just for certain people. This is going to be for everybody. Don't be so greedy. Okay. If you don't have a business, you just don't have a business. Okay. So I had a friend of mine, as a matter of fact, Etienne has said that his homeboy or somebody was like, yo, let me do your P, you know, yo, e, let me do your PPP. So he's like, nah, I got somebody. I got my girl. She, she hooks me up. She's an accountant. She does well. He was like, oh, she must do it by the book. I must do it by the book. What other way would there be other than not to do it by the book? And I think we touched on it last week. It's called bank fraud, tax evasion, uh, and other charges that can lead up to 30, 40, 50 years in prison. So uh, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm going to do it by the book, okay? Because in the end, it's going to help you out, okay? So when they come to audit you and say, hey, where's these paper where's the paperwork for your PPP, which stands for payroll protection uh, um, plan, okay? It's not payroll forever plan. It's for a certain amount of time, 10 to 12 weeks. That's all the money they give you, okay? And if you don't know the ins and outs of these PPPs, why are you creating these businesses and why are you allowing these people to file these pe these loans for you, okay? Not knowing the repercussions. So let's get into it real quick. I ain't gonna get into a loan, but I'm just gonna get into it real quick. So when he said, oh, she must do it by the book, hell yeah, I do it by the book, okay? First of all, I'm an honest person, all right? Second of all, I don't want you jammed up and when you get jammed up, you're gonna jam me up. So how about no, okay? So yeah, don't come to me if you want illegal PPPs because I'm not doing that. So this is what's happening out there with these PPP loans, okay? So if you are on social service, Medicaid, receiving any type of assistance, food stamps, and you go ahead and you apply for this PPP loan, basically what you're telling the government, because they do talk to one another, I hope you do know this, um, that, um, that you own a business, when you first applied, you said you didn't have nothing. Okay, so that's red flag number one. That's you're going to jail. Okay, that's you're going to go ahead and get some jail time or have to pay some restitution, and it's going to be nasty. Okay, so you you you're getting all these social these uh these uh fund these funds from the government. Okay, but then you turn around and have your homeboy do you a PPP, and you get twenty thousand dollars back. So what happens is, I just hope you know. To get a hundred, to get twenty thousand dollars, you have to report that you have a hundred, you have a hundred thousand dollars at least in payroll every week. Okay, For on average, it's an average. Okay. Yo, what's good, Manny? Preach on, yes, sir. I shall. High five. I haven't seen you in a while. Happy to see you. So what happens now is that. Now, what you done said is that I'm receiving all these social service uh, uh, funds from the government, but now I have a business. So when they start to talk to one another, what happens now is that the government goes, oh, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. She says she don't have nothing, but over here she filed a Schedule C stating that she has $100,000 worth of payroll and she got $20,000. So then what happens is, is that they go ahead and cut you off because you don't lie over here just to get 20 stacks. Now, half the time, Y'all take this money and don't do nothing with it, okay? What I'm going to tell you is if you're in that situation, you better take that 20 stacks and put it to the side. Because let me tell you something. When they come back and they find you, they're going to take that 20 stacks and they're going to put you in jail. And you're going to say, oh, it, it was nothing. But let me tell you something. It's, it's going to be for more than one charge. It's going to be bank fraud. It's going to be tax evasion. It's going to be wire fraud. Let me tell you, you're going to be in Fed prison. I guarantee it, Okay. And then you have the audacity to get upset when your food stamps get cut off, when when your Section 8 get cut off, when all that get cut off because you lied. But you reap what you sow. So if you lied about this PPP, okay, 
then you deserve to get cut off, okay? You got 20 stacks. What did you do with it? You went out and bought a car, right? Or you went out and bought some red bottoms, right? And you don't even own a house or you don't even own a car or you went out and got a Louis Vuitton child buy, okay? And most of these people are charging you 5,000, 4,000, three, off of your 20 stacks. So you really not even getting a whole 20 stacks. You getting more like five or 15, or you're getting, you know, uh, 17. Hey, shy, you know, off these uh, off these PPP loans, okay? And then they say, oh, well, because I applied for the PPP for you, I also have to do your taxes and I have to do your loan forgiveness because I have to lie to cover the lie, to cover the lie, the first five lies that I already lied to, to the government about you having a business, okay? How about black people, we say no. Okay, just say no, no thank you. No PPP loan if you ain't got it. If you ain't, listen, it ain't worth it. And you might not get caught today, but when when the, when the government catches up and COVID is over and they go, okay, let's go ahead and audit these books for the PPP loans and they start cracking down on y'all and y'all people that got 20 stacks that did whatever with it, didn't start a business, didn't invest it nowhere, they're going to come after you and they're going to bury you under the jail because that's what the system is for when you do crimes like that. It don't work out for us black people. You know what I'm saying? It might work out for the white people with a little slap on the wrist, but it don't work out like that for us. Okay. So, all right. If you own a business, like a legit business, oh, and by the way, just so you know, if you didn't start your business before a certain time, you can't apply for the PPP loan anyway. And just so you know, if you actually started a business, they considered the business as being registered within the state. Now I did uh, how to set up an LLC and an S corp video, and you need to go back and look at that. Okay. To see what, what registered with the state mean. Okay. So if your business isn't registered with the state before a certain amount of time, you can't apply for this PPP loan. Okay. Now, if you and your homeboy over here who said he going to get 5,000 off your 20 stacks, said, well, I'll go ahead and take care of it and lie and say that you had a business beforehand. You do know that they can go and look at the state registry to see if you were registered, your business was registered before that time. Okay. I, I don't know who this is for. I don't know if anyone's learning anything today, but I'm trying to tell you now that's not the way to go. Okay. Don't call me with your scams. Okay. So yes, I'm the girl that does it by the book. But I'm the girl that will get you the money and I'm the girl that keep you out of jail. Okay, so you got a twofer, okay? You're out of jail and you got your coins, okay? Okay, and you sleep well at night and so do I. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. All right, I'm gonna have a sip. Y'all have a sip. Hopefully that was good, okay? All right, mm-hmm. Okay, now for y'all that have legal businesses and you guys wanna apply for the PPP, so one of two things is going on. You can go to one of these sites, um, Wompley, um, Blue Line. You can go to any of these sites and they will walk you step by step on how to apply for a PPP loan. And basically what they're looking for, I'm telling you now, they're looking for Schedule C's and they're looking for your uh, tax return. They are also looking for your driver's license, the front and back of your driver's license. They are also looking for your bank statements from February 2019, only February 2019 and February 2020. Um, and they just want to see how much money you made. Now, what I'm going to tell you is, you know, hey, if you have that stuff, get it. It's there for the taking. Definitely uh, apply for it. If you need assistance, um, you can always hit me on in the comments or hit me on in the inbox and I will walk you through it. Um, also, um, cause I love y'all, you know, I do it for the people cause I love the people. That's why I do it. I do it for the people cause I love the people. Okay. So, um, but yeah. And then, you know, like, you know, if you had 17, if you paid yourself $17,000, um, just using around, you know, just a figure, if you paid yourself $17,000 last year in 2019, You'll probably get back $3,300, $3,000. But listen, that's $3,000 more than you had and it's legal. So why try to even push the envelope? We're trying to get $20,000. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you, at the end of the day, it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. So I just wanted to quickly touch bases on the PPP. If you need help, if you're interested, hit me in, in the inbox 
or DM me, um, Ratchet T Podcast, um, and I can walk you through some things. I'm not here to do it for you, but I'm definitely here to walk you through some things and help you with that process if that's what you're interested in. And it's for the good free. Now, I will say if you care to donate a couple coins, I'm not going to say no, but I'm just saying I will walk you through it, okay? So that's what I got for the PPP. Do not get caught up and don't sleep, okay? Stay woke, okay? So when your homeboy, your homegirl will be like, oh, I can set you up with this PPP. Let me tell you something. If that Schedule C don't match up with 2019 or 2020, somebody about to get audited. Somebody going to get fined. Somebody possibly going to jail. And don't call me because I'm going to tell you in episode 36, I told you not to do it. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Okay? Just don't do it. Okay? So my other topic tonight is we're going to talk about credit repair. Okay? So last Wednesday, I talked about what is credit you know, what is good credit, bad credit, fair credit. I gave you all some terms uh, that you need to know that's going to help you with this next podcast. If you're following me, wonderful. Um, if not, you need to share it with people that need this information. Because let me tell you something, this is free information. A lot of people ain't going to give this information out for free. I do it because I love the people and I want my people to succeed and be just have the best knowledge they can have to be successful in their life, Okay. And when they're successful, that means I'm successful, okay? Because I can see you being successful. And then maybe one day you donate some money. I don't I don't know. Maybe you come by my house and bless me. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm here. I'm here. I'll pass the collection plate later on in the broadcast, okay? I'm going to pass the collection plate later. I feel, yeah, I feel like I should do that. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Here we go with the credit, your Jeopardy question of the night. Who, 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 oh, um, what's that guy named from the Green Bay Packers? What's his name? Oh, I hate him so much. Mm, I forgot his name. What's the quarterback's name? I forgot his name, but he's a great quarterback. I don't know why I forgot it, but I, I say his name all the time and I hate him. But um, he is the host or, or he's going to be the host or has already been the host on Jeopardy. So we're going to ask him this question. What is credit repair? For two hundred dollars, okay. So credit repair is the process of fixing someone's poor credit score, okay. Like I said last episode, I gave it to you. I told you what a credit score was. If you didn't list, if you didn't see it, go back and watch it, okay. So repairing credit. See, I have to write because if I don't, I forget all my points, okay. Because then I have ADHD and I be everywhere, like I'm now, okay. So repairing credit could be very easy such as disputing information that is incorrect with the three credit agencies, or it could be really bad if you have like identity theft and any time and, and any damage has happened due to the identity, you know, Aaron Rodgers, there we go, Aaron Rodgers. There we go, thank you, Sarah. Aaron Rodgers, what is credit repair for $200? I hate you, okay, I hope you retire, okay, you suck. All right, but he's like the greatest that ever did it. Okay, but anyway, okay, so if you have identity theft, um. Um, it could be very hard to remove that from your credit. Okay. Um, Rogers, Ed Edward said Rogers. Yes. High five. Yeah. Football fans. Boom. There we are. Okay. So this might require more extensive work to fix it up. Okay. So details that are inaccurate and were misrepresentative can be disputed as well. Okay. So credit companies, credit repair companies investigate these type of inaccuracies for a fee. F E E that you pay a fee to these companies that will clean up your credit, okay? But I'm here to tell you, you could do this for yourself for free, F-R-E-E. -E. It's not for a fee, F-E-E, -E, but for free, F-R-E-E, -E, okay? Do this for yourself, okay? I'm not understanding. People like to spend money. Honey, I'll fix up your credit for you, okay? Just drop me in my inbox. I'll help you out, okay? You can pay me, okay? I want some streams of income, I'm all for it, all right? Okay. So many credit repair services have been claiming they can assist consumers. And for some, that is true. But for others, that is not the case. In some cases, someone's credit repair can need the help of legal as well as financial expertise, such as myself. I, I, I'm a financial expertise, okay? Depending on the extent of the issue, it may require professional intervention. and in others, it may require a simple cleanup of a misunderstanding. Okay, and we'll get into what a misunderstanding is. Okay, so credit repair companies 
charge fees. Okay, so the fee that uh, the credit repair company may charge varies from company to company. They all don't, you know, charge the same. Typically, they have two types of fees. Okay, they have an initial setup fee where they go, okay, Minda Renee, well, we're going to take all your information and you're going to send me all your creditors and all how much money you owe to each of them. And that's, and then we're going to set it up. They're going to set up your profile. You know, that's what they're going to tell you. They're going to tell you all that. And this can range anywhere from $10 to $100. Okay. The initial setup fee, but other places, they actually charge more two, three, four, five, six hundred dollars for these setup fees. So if you go on credit repair companies, just, you know, shop around and just know that you could do it yourself for free. Okay. So, and then they also charge a monthly service fee. Now this can range anywhere from $30 to $150. Um, and if you think about it, that's a lot of money. Okay. So if you are doing, you know, if you are doing, um, credit repair for a year, you know what I'm saying? Let's see, that's 15 plus another three. That's like $1,800 for the year. Like you could have paid off one of your bad debt with that money. You know what I'm saying? So why give it to them when you could do it yourself? You know, last, last, last podcast, I thought we talked about breathing in and saying, this is going to be the first day of me, you know, having better uh, uh, business and credit practices. So I'm going to need you to say that, you know what I'm saying? And continue that and do it on your own, because when you do it on your own, you feel a sense of accomplishment. Okay. You'll love it. Okay. You absolutely just absolutely love it. Okay. Okay. So, so like I said, although some companies charge more, you can save that money in your pocket. Okay. So according to the federal trade commission, it's called the FTC F as in Frank T as in Tom season cat federal trade commission, credit repair companies cannot do anything legally for you that you cannot do for yourself. So let me back it up a little bit and let me reread that. Okay. According to the federal trade commission, Credit repair companies cannot do anything legal, legally for you that you can't do for yourself. So what they I'm not saying that they're illegal, but I'm just saying legally, they're not doing anything for you that you cannot do for yourself. Okay. You just have to be willing to have the time to review your credit for inaccurate or negative items. All right. Reach out to the credit bureaus to dispute that information and then follow up disputes to make sure they're being investigated. Okay. So on the other hand, if you don't have time or you're just plain lazy, okay, you're lazy. Okay. Maybe you sit on the couch drinking a cocktail and like bump my credit. It's going to go, it's going to get better through osmosis. I'm going to put the credit report outside in the sunlight is going to make it better. No, that's not how that's going to work, but I wish it did. I'd put mine out there for forever. I'd have a thousand, a million dollar credit score right now. Okay. All right. This is good. This is good information. Good cocktail, good information. But no, it takes work. Through osmosis, your credit score will not be good. It just won't be good. It just won't happen. Uh, if somebody finds out how to make your credit score better just by putting the, the report out in the sun, please down, let me know because I, I want to do that too, okay? I definitely want to do that too, okay? So now... Some credit repair companies will charge you a fee to take certain items off of your credit for a limited time so that you can either purchase a home or purchase a car. Okay. But like I told you in my last episode, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Just don't do it. Lord, 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 don't do it. Okay. It's called bank fraud, bro. Bank fraud. All right. And you will go to jail for that, uh, uh, for that amongst other charges because everyone knows that when you get arrested bruh you don't you don't just get one charge bruh you get several charges okay like it's bank fraud wire fraud tax evasion uh and then they start shooting other stuff at you like you be like i ain't even touched the mailbox but guess what you got wire fraud oh yeah it's it's going down and, and it's going down in your neighborhood it's going down in your house okay because you're the one that's doing the fraud okay now you say minda renee I have had a bankruptcy and it was removed from my credit because they technically say that you cannot legally remove bankruptcies or things that are of public record off your credit report. And I will say to that, yes, that I absolutely, that that is absolutely true. 
And the reason this happens is because it was inaccurately entered or it has some incorrect information on it. So when you went to go file bankruptcy, bankrupt, you had to uh, give your lawyer every debt, every, uh, he pulled your credit, any, any little bills in the mail that you got saying, hey, you owe, you owe, you owe, you owe, you're supposed to give that all to your uh, bankrupt bankruptcy attorney, okay? So when you do that, he fills out all these forms, he lists everybody down that, oh, you know, they're gonna go ahead and file against, you know, uh, bankrupt against all these creditors and things of that nature. And um, we're gonna go ahead and file bankrupt. Okay, so fine, great. So what happens is, um, because because the bankruptcy remains so long on your credit, it's only normal for the errors to occur. Okay, so some of the errors that happen when after they file, you know, that long fifty thousand page uh, document uh, that you could also do yourself, just so you know, um, debts that were wrote off or discharged in a bankruptcy that still show the balance. So, for instance, I went bankrupt on my house. I owe ten thousand dollars on my house. When I look on my credit and it shows in the bankruptcy, it still has a balance. And it's been there since I went bankrupt. So now you can go ahead and say, hey, hey, uh, court, I wanna go ahead and remove this. Hey, credit bureau, I wanna go ahead and move this because this is inaccurate. And that's how you get your bankruptcy removed off your credit report. So you have these people out here that are doing credit repair and, and, paying, and allowing you to pay them to get stuff off your credit for a limited time. And what they do is they go through your bankruptcy to see if there's any inaccuracies. And yes, they can take it off your credit because it, it was indeed reported inaccurate, inaccurately. So the government says, well, you know, since that happens, you can uh, go ahead and remove that off your credit report. So there you go. Okay. So the bankruptcy is still showing on your credit report after 10 years of a filing date, just so you know, any sort of material error in how the bankruptcy was reported from the spelling of names to accurate addresses, phone numbers, and dates. If anything like this appears on your credit report, you can challenge those errors. Just like I said, the reporting agency must remove them if the reporting agency cannot verify the charge. So if they go back and go, oh man, we can't find this, or I can't verify it, they gotta take it off. They gotta take it off. So and in, in, in rare, rare possibilities, um, uh, someone else's bankruptcy could be on your credit report. So that's a little crazy in, in itself. So, but it's very rare, but it happens from time to time. Okay. So let's talk about fixing your credit in, in a couple easy steps. Okay. So first, just like I said last time on my podcast, uh, get your credit report, go to www.experian.com, www.transunion.com or www.equifax.com. And if any of those reporting agency wants to sponsor me, okay? Cause I'm shooting out your information. Hit me up, okay? A sister don't mind a check, okay? I never, I, listen, I never turned down a check. No ma'am, no sir, no yes, no, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. I won't turn down a check and I won't turn down a good cocktail, okay? But just one, one cocktail, that's all you need. Don't be a drunk, okay? Don't, God said, the, the, what, what, what does it say in the Bible? The Bible, the Bible said, what did the producer I need him. He says, it's not the act of getting, it's not the act of drinking, it's the act of getting drunk. Let's not get drunk, okay? Let's get fancy. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so number two, if we're talking about easy steps to um, fix your credit, okay? So check your credit report for errors. So take a look at it. it it's not a disease, I promise you, all right? Take a look at your credit report, okay? After you pull it, take a look at it. Hold it. If you want to smell the paper, smell the paper. It's your credit, okay? If it stinks, then your credit must it be horrible. That's all I can say. If if if, it's, if your paperwork stinks, your credit is horrible. But if it smells like roses, maybe you got an 850. I don't know, okay? Give me the tea. Go in my inbox, okay? But take a look at it and determine what needs to be fixed, okay? These are the times where I always tell y'all, read. Reading is fundamental, okay? It's fundamental, okay? It expands your vocabulary. Try to read, okay? So look uh, t look and see if anything needs to be fixed, such as incorrect spellings of names and addresses. Wrong addresses, yes, that affects your credit re uh, report. Okay, accounts that don't belong to you. You know what I'm saying? Like your mama and them, you know what I'm saying? Your mama got a phone under your name, okay? And now she didn't pay the bill. 
Okay, that ain't yours. Why are you pay? Why are you paying the debt for the, for credit that ain't yours? Okay, I'm not doing that. I'm a, I'm gonna call the police. I'm a I listen. Okay, don't do it. Don't don't do it. I'm trying to tell you, don't do it. I'm gonna call the popo on you. Okay, I'm gonna call it so quick and say that's identity theft in the name of the good Lord. Okay, all right. So missing accounts that should show in your credit report. So if you know that you got good accounts that you, you know you're paying on. Um, your rent, unfortunately, is not included. But if you have like a phone bill and um, it, it's not on your credit report, make sure that call them up. Say, hey, I got uh, my phone server through Metro Piece of Mess or Cricket who just jumped away. You know what I'm saying? I need that to show on my credit report, okay? Because I'm paying you, okay? Every month. But if you're not paying them every month, don't put them on your credit report, okay? Don't do it, okay? Just don't jack yourself up. You know who you are out there, okay? All right, so correct incorrect public records such as bankruptcies and foreclosures. If you never owned a house, why is it on your credit? Okay, if your baby daddy put the house on the work it out, get it off your credit. Okay, so um, inaccurate accounts that are open but state closed. Okay, and vice versa, open accounts that are closed, closed accounts that are open. You want to just fix that stuff up. Okay, this is stuff that you could do while. You're in bed after the kids done went to sleep, okay? You could spend an hour on this stuff, okay? I tell you no lie, okay? And you'd have perfect credit in a year. Hi. The producer says hi, everybody. He done walked in. I got the shade about to pass out, okay? All right. So look for duplicate accounts. So, you know, accounts that are the same. So maybe you went to the doctor and they billed you twice. Get it off your credit, okay? All right. Delinquencies or derogatory remarks. Hey, I paid this creditor. He's still showing that it's open. Hey, he needs. You need to call him and say, Hey, you need to close that because I paid you. Okay. Fraudulent activity and incorrect inquiries. Okay. So you can you look at your look at your credit report. Okay. That's what it's there for. It's your friend. I promise you. It's your friend. I promise you. Okay. Now by fixing these simple errors. Um, these, it can have a dramatic change on your credit, uh, score in such a short period of time, because you'd be amazed. Okay. You'd be like, oh my God, I don't went up five, 10 points. Yes. You needed that. Okay. You were at 580. Now you look at 590. You almost said 600. You're almost ready to go. Possibly. Okay. Possibly. You're almost ready to buy a car maybe without a 29% APR rate. Okay. So why is he in my space? He is so in my space. I cannot be myself when he is in the room. He's he's like he's like a shadow. He's horrible. The producer. Okay. So the third step is dispute, 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 child. Dispute it. Okay. If it ain't yours, dispute it. Okay. Look at him. Dispute it. I don't like it. it okay. So once you found an error and it's time to dispute, dispute that thing. Okay. Dispute it in the name of the Lord. Okay. Dispute it. You can request a correction online or write a letter. All of the credit agencies uh, let you dispute all these items online now. So it, they make it very easy. So you just go and you pull online and you find the, the account. And then it has a little drop down and it'll say dispute. And you click on the button and then it'll take you to the steps. And then it'll say, why are you disputing this? You're going to say, oh, my God, it's not mine. Whatever. And go on. Boom. All right. So um, you will need to provide certain documentation uh, to help with the claims, such as proof of identity, um, the account with the wrong information, and any documentation that can show that it is a report, an error on your report. Okay, so remember that, all right? Okay, and then please know that it can take three to six months for an inaccurate item to remove from your credit. So if you cleaned it up today, it's probably not gonna be there tomorrow. Give it some time, okay? Just give it some time, all right? Shy says, open up your, your eyes. Yes, open up your eyes, child. Open up your eyes. You got two of them, okay? And if you can't see out of one, try to look at the other. I'm just trying to tell you, okay? I'm just trying to let you know. Do it. Do it quick. That's some deliciousness, okay? All right, number four. Pay late or pass due accounts, all right? Focus on paying overdue balances on your credit report. Okay, for you that want houses and you know better cars, this is stuff that you need to do. So if you want to get to the next level and you're always complaining about how you have bad credit and oh, what was me? 
you know, I'm, I don't have good credit. I'm never going to have a house or I'm never going to buy a new car. But I'm giving you the steps. I'm giving you good, good. This is information for the people, okay? You want to send me a bottle as a gift? Send me a bottle. That's wonderful. I'll take it as a gift, okay? But I'm giving it to you so you can reach the next level, honey, okay? So, pay late or past due accounts. Just pay your bills, okay? Focus on paying overdue balances on your credit report because you don't read your credit report, okay? So, please note that until a payment is... Now, this is good for some of y'all, okay? So, please note that a payment is not considered past due until it hits day 31 okay so on day 30 okay if you have to pay a mortgage all right and your mortgage was due april 1st you're actually you can actually pay it on april 30th or i wouldn't wait to that long april 29th um and it won't be considered late it won't be reported to the credit bureaus now now your company is gonna hit you with a good late fee. I don't know if you're gonna like that, but I'm just saying you could pay it that long without it being reported to the credit agency. And they probably won't have a loan to you again, the company. So you might wanna check that out, but I'm just letting you know, okay? So these people are the most annoying people on earth. And I'm sorry if, if anyone that's watching works there, collection agencies, okay? Don't call me because I got you in my phone number, in, in my phone, okay? I already, got, I already got a name for you. Talk about bill collector, ain't getting paid, one. Bill collector, ain't getting paid, two. Bill collector, ain't getting paid, three. Okay, let me just tell you, that's what you're under. So if you're calling me, I know it's you. And when you call me from an unknown number, I put you in again. Unpaid bill collector, number five. I don't care, I go all the way to a thousand, okay? All right, so collection agencies get involved when your account has reached past 30 days. And then when your account becomes 180 days or six months past due, your card will be charged off, meaning you will no longer have the option to make minimum payments or utilize it. And the credit, the creditor chucks it up as a loss on their books. They're like, mm, they didn't pay. Oh, well, we're just going to write it off as a loss. Big, okay. No big deal. They pay, they pay, they don't, they don't. Okay. And cancels your account or come repo your car. Hmm. And I'm the lady in the window looking at your car being repoed like, hmm, hmm. I don't think they listened to her episode. I don't think they was watching Rad to T. That's why they car being repoed right there, okay? Okay, all right, all right. So now then your only option is to pay the balance in full. So you could also be charged with a late fee for every month that passes. I just told you that, okay? So pay, this is like a really good tidbit if you didn't know. Paid to delete, okay? Paid to delete. No, you cannot pay to delete Ratchet T because I'm here every Wednesday and Sunday, okay? I'm here. You can't get rid of me, okay? All right, so a pay for delete is when you when you and the collection agency agree uh, to remove the collection from your account for a fee. So either you pay it in full or you pay it for a lesser amount. But either way, after you pay it, it's called a pay to delete. If I pay you a hundred dollars, you're going to delete that off my credit credit and they will do it. Okay. And it takes about 30 days to do. And if you don't see it, cause it, it gets updated every 30 days. If you don't see it, you call them and they will definitely take it off. Okay. All right. So five, increase your credit limits. So if you have decent credit and you're not really utilizing all your credit, you can ask your credit card companies or your creditors say, hey, I have a line of credit for 500. Can you give me a line for 1,000? If they don't do a line for 1,000, they might come back and say, well, I'll give you 750. Take it, okay? Take it and run with it, all right? Pay off high interest uh, new accounts first. Remember I told you last uh, show that if I have three credit cards, okay, one with 300 at 30% interest, uh, one at 200 with 14% uh, interest, and another one for 100 at 2% interest, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pay off that, uh, the little one first because it's only $100. But then I'm going to focus on my bigger one because it has a higher interest rate and then pay the minimum balance on my 200 one, okay? So I'm going to snowball my 300 one, but pay the minimum balance on my 200 one and I'm working in tandem and then both shrinking, okay? When I'm done with my $300 one, I'm going to go ahead and pay off my $200 one and then be out of debt. And then I'm going to be like, thank you, Mr. Renee. And I'm going to be like, yes, girl. You did that, okay? You did all of that, okay? Another step seven, 
open a new credit card. Okay. So if you have decent credit, you can always open a new credit card and this will help increase your total available credit. Okay. Which impacts your credit utilization uh, ratio, man. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Your credit utilization radio and ratio. And I'm sure somebody said, what is the credit utilization ratio? Okay. So we're going to get into that for a minute. Okay. So the amount, what is credit utilization ratio is the amount of revolving credit you are currently using divided by the total amount of revolving credit you have available. Basically it is how much you currently owe divided by your credit limit. Okay. So let's break that down real quick and easy math. Okay. So if I have a thousand dollar credit limit and I owe 300, my credit utilization ratio is $300 divided by a thousand. That is 0.30 or 30%. Okay. Companies typically like to see consumers have a credit utilization ratio of 10%, but no more than 30%. Okay. Um, that's super well. If you want to go and try to buy a house, Okay, so you want to make sure that credit utilization ratio is low, honey, low, like zero. Okay, because they will make you pay it off. They don't care. They don't care that you're trying to buy a house. Okay, they don't care. Okay, they just want give me the money and get out of debt. Okay, but tell me this. So let me let me say, let me just say. So let me ask somebody out there. Okay, so if you're watching now, if you watch later, just answer the question. Um, so if I'm buying a house, right, and I have debt, right, but good debt, and you and the, and, the, and the mortgage company goes. Hey, I want you to go ahead and pay up all that debt so you can, you know, bring your debt to income ratio down so you can buy this house. So I go, okay, I'm going to pay it off. Okay. But hold on. After I pay off the debt and I close on the house, nine times out of 10, I'm only going to get in debt again because I need stuff for the new house. Okay. So my, my thing is why not accept the debt so I don't go into further debt? I don't understand that. So if I'm going to close on a house, at least you know I can afford it with the debt. Now it's different if I can't afford it with the debt, okay? I'm just saying it's different. If I can't afford it with the debt, then that's different. But if I can, why, why? Why I gotta pay it all off when I'm just gonna go back in the debt after I close? I'm just saying. Somebody help a sister out. Somebody help a sister out, okay? Number eight, pay balances on time, okay? That is my last uh, tip for, um. Uh, that is my last tip for, um, you know, what were we talking about? I don't know. Cause I, I said a lot. That was my last tip for, um, fixing your credit in these easy steps. Okay. That's what it is. Okay. All right. So tips for maintaining healthy credit. All right. Here's some tips for y'all. All right. Keep your credit, credit status strong. 850 is the goal. All right. Limit the number of hard inquiries. Remember, soft inquiries don't impact your uh, credit. Number three, set up auto payments. All right. This helps to ensure you pay the balance on time. Um, four, keep old accounts open, even if you do not use it very often. Okay. Don't close it. Older accounts show that you have maintained a uh, healthy payment history with your creditors. All right. Five, maintain different types of credit cards, which, which can assist in boosting your credit. All right. Number six, number six, monitor your credit report yourself. Review your credit report every three months to make sure there are no additional errors. It's okay. Do credit karma. Just, you know, it's free. All right. Get your one from the real Experian at TransUnion and Equifax. And then monitor it on credit, uh, credit karma. Make sure everything is straight on the straight and narrow every three months. All right. Number seven, avoid multiple accounts of opening multiple accounts at once. For example, if you're applying for a Home Depot loan, I mean, the Home Depot card and a car loan in the same week, try not to do that. Try to kind of do Home Depot at the beginning of the month and, you know, uh, try to get your car loan the next month. OK. And last but not least, ask for professional help. All right. Don't be ashamed to ask for help. Don't be don't be shamed. After all, this is the better you. This is the better where you're trying to go. OK, and that's what these 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 podcasts are all about on Wednesdays is the betterment for you, for all you business people. All you. Be, yeah, you might go, oh, Mandarin is so boring. But let me tell you something, baby, when your credit score is 850 and you're getting loans and, and you're walking out of dealerships with cars that you was like, I would never thought I would drive. 
you would be like, thank you, Minda Renee, because this is to help you. You you understand what I'm saying? Setting up businesses. This is to help you. I mean, I could, I could charge money for this stuff, but you know what? I give it to the people because I love the people. I want everyone to flourish. I want everyone to be wealthy. I want everyone to be in the know, honey. Okay. I want you to know how to run your business. I want you to know how to control your credit. I want to know, I want you to know how to fix things on your own and do it for free. Okay. Do it for yourself for free and not have to pay nobody. How about that? Now that is where it's at. Okay. But that's all I got. I mean, that's really all I got. I'm like I said, I'm in and out like a thief in the night. Okay. All right. When I come in, honey, I'm like, I'm gone. Okay. I give you the information and then I'm out. So I don't know who I have online, but if you guys got any questions, um, I'll wait for a quick little uh, couple seconds. Um, but other than that, I'll be on wind Sunday, uh, with Etienne. I know I said that last Sunday, but, um, I forgot I had an event to go to. So um, me and Etienne will be back in the studio on Sunday at 7. And um, and then I'll be back with you guys on Wednesday to, uh, you know, talk about more, more about this business stuff. And if you have any questions on the PPP or need help, hit me on the inbox. I'll help you out. Um, but other than that, y'all, that's all I got um, until Sunday night. This is your girl, Minda Renee. I'm in, I'm out, okay? It's it's Wednesday. I'm in and out. It's in and out Wednesday, okay? To you guys. Have a great night. It's your girl, Minda Renee. I'll see you Sunday at 7. Peace. Bye.